different purpose than variadic arguments. Um, and this expands at compile time into a variable number of template arguments and allows you to write type safe functions that take arbitrary numbers of arguments. So this nice. is how make shared is powered. It accepts um, a variad, it uses both variadic templates and R value references to accept an arbitrary number of arbitrary things and forward them to T's constructor. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> this variadic templates feature, while in the C++ OX standard, it's in there in the working paper, uh, implementations exist, uh, but it's not implemented in VC10. We didn't have time for it, um, despite my uh, cries and begging and pleading as a library developer, this would totally make my life easier. Mm -hmm. um, they only had time um, and testing resources to implement the five core language features um, that we've but, got. Okay, but they did implement the 10 by default that will work. Uh, no, no, so that's not the library hand, thing. Hand write out the 10 yes. on the <laughs> what, what, what happens is, it, it's, it's even worse than handwriting. Uh, uh, we stamp them out with preprocessor macros. So uh, if in, and we were actually doing this as far back as uh, 2008 SP1. We're really? simply continuing to use that machinery and extending it um, in uh, VC10. So when we declare something like make shared, we're actually, um, we use preprocessor macros that look like, um, uh, let me remember one of them, looks like AO, A1, forward. Uh. And this will expand out to something like uh, forward arg0 of a0, comma, and then forward arg1, a1, and so Et forth. Okay. Up to the number of arguments that we're trying to stamp out. And then we will repeatedly include subheaders and change the macros so that we can stamp out all 10 overloads while keeping at least some degree of sanity in our code base. But it's it's rather brittle. Uh, it's hard to understand. We try to make life very convenient for the users who don't need to know about any of this stuff. But you, um, the library writer, wanted variadic templates. Yes, yes. we really would love you to see have see immediately them. you'd be able to write, you wouldn't have to do Just that. Just a single definition and the well, next compiler time, would have done it time. all in its head. Yeah. I must admit, uh, it was also the PCP yeah. team. They have overloads, and the function will come back to me in a second. Uh, parallel invoke. Parallel takes invoke. Two to ten. Two to ten, and they have yeah. to do the same machinery, and it's really quite pointless, and uh. it's something we'd like to fix. But yeah. we have something to look at for the future. Now, so that's <laughs> well, we, the thing is, we have a workaround. Yeah. And given the choice between R value references yeah. and Variac templates, I would rather have R value references because they are just simply impossible to simulate what they do in C++ 98. Whereas with Variac templates, as long as you're willing to accept the 10 is infinity, you can stamp out things with preprocessor macros and muddle through it. Whereas with R value references, what they do just can't be replicated in the old language. Yeah, And I think from a design guidelines point of view, passing in more than 10 parameters is a little strange. It's probably yeah. a bit questionable. Except in times. generated code. But yeah, yeah. yeah. agreed. Yeah. Excellent, man. So let's talk about before we leave. Like, you guys have a lot of internal consumers. We have a yeah. lot of internal consumers, which is a great thing because every time we do something, uh, if we get it right, we don't hear about it. But if we get it wrong, we hear about it pretty quickly. Yeah. Or we break the Visual Studio build, which is <laughs> awesome. We have to go fix 100 files because they forgot to include Iterator. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. So yeah. that's actually something we should mention just because uh, Stefan's brought it up there. I mean, yeah. with the re-implementation of our STL code base, which we got from Dinkumware, um, I could say it's become a little more standards compliant, maybe that's not the right terminology here, but mm -hmm. for example, the standard doesn't tell you in what order you need to include many of the header files, nor which right. header files include other header files yeah. and things like that. And so what we've found is that uh, the new implementation has broken a few people because they would have picked up the iterator header file by default previously from including some things and they're not now so yeah. uh, that's one caveat we'd like to warn people when you get your uh, when you get your first uh, drop of um, VS 2010 beta, beta one, one. Yeah. and you go out there then uh, you know that's one but we, we found a yeah. couple of other minor ones yeah. too. Well the, the iterator one is sort of the heaviest hitter that we've seen just throughout our own uh, Visual Studio code base and what it looks like, it's, it's really simple, um, but it, it manages to bite a surprising number of people. 
Um, suppose you're using the STL and you're including something like, I don't know, algorithm it seems to be a common occurrence. And then you need to, you're including vector and all that good stuff. And then you want to do something like copy uh, from some vector begin uh, to some vector end. And you want to insert this into the back of some other vector. So you say back inserter and then some destination vector or list or something. And in VC9, um, this compiled just fine. And then when you try to compile this in VC10, it explodes, saying, I can't find back inserter or in, in the midst of you know 100 lines of template nonsense. And the problem is that you didn't include the header where back inserter lives. And in VC9, algorithm was dragging in iterator. The standard headers include each other in unspecified way. So they can include each other, but the standard doesn't say that they have to or which ones include what. Hmm. So algorithms simply happen to drag in iter and I'm just using algorithm as an example. Mm -hmm. They happen to drag in iterator in VC9, but because we've completely rewritten um, how some of this stuff works, in VC10 it no longer automatically drags an iterator. So if you don't end up including it, then trying to use things from iterator will simply fail to compile. And the fix is just explicitly include iterator. Uh, but you have to be able to read the diagnostic first. To yeah, you have, that's to, the fix. you have to Not look at the diagnostic, <laughs> meditate on it, and and once you've seen you know, a couple instances of it, they become very quick to recognize because anything complain about back inserter or any of the other helper functions from iterator, instantly you can say, oh, you, know, you must not be including the header. But the very first time you see it, if you've never seen this, you'll be like, what's exploding? You know, it well, worked in VC9, so VC10 must be buggy. And in this case, it actually is the problem lies with the uh, code there. And you guys are going to fix that in the next release? No. Nope. Uh, nope. This by design. Use this by design. Design. Oh, I get it. Yeah. So unspecified means unspecified. Unspecified. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's actually, if but you think about it. But that's something that a lot of programmers take advantage of, a lot of unspecified Yeah, accidentally. Yeah. And that's why it's so. good to be proper and clean and use only what the standard says. <laughs> and you can actually imagine this Wait a minute. Is that my, are you from Microsoft? <laughs> did he just say that? Yeah, a little bit did. of heresy there. Um, <laughs> you can actually imagine this as an improvement. Our, in this particular case, um, our header is dragging in less code than it used to. Oh. So that means hopefully your compile times are a little faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, looks like uh, Wait a minute. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, no, it's the boss. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the boss man. Yeah. Yeah. This How's is uh, yeah. very good. Very good. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. How's it going? Good. Usman hasn't said much, though. No, Usman. He's been very quiet, oh. but I'm very okay. happy to have him. What do you think fast. about all this? Really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so many bugs. Lots of stuff. Eh? Yeah, the new we've been going over and being yeah. taught by you know STL here. Yes, yeah. in person. About yeah, the new go. stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of work Thanks. done by him. So there's the face. Yeah. <laughs> and of course the test team and other developers. Yeah, the, uh, the, and this a lot guy of work right done here. By Usman. Yes. Got to get him so on. Sorry, there. he can't be here with us. Excellent. Yeah. Good job, bro. But the other thing is, uh, of we course, once it goes out, we we want to hear how everybody finds it. So. You know, please submit bugs. Uh, Microsoft Connect. Microsoft Connect. Yeah. We, we I know it sounds funny, but we do love to get bugs. They, they actually land directly on, um, after going through our internal process, directly on the plates of developers. So if you've got a standard C++ library bug and it goes through our initial triage and they verify that, yep, this really is a bug. It's not, you know, user errors, yeah. misconfigured installation or something. It'll be assigned to me. And I will see it, and you then I'll determine it. whether oh. is it. Well, I, I of course I'm going to look myself <laughs> and see is this actually a bug, and then I'll go and fix it or wow. send it to Dinkumware and have PJ Plyver really fix it. Yeah. Right on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. But yeah, we we did anything we didn't touch on. I think was decal type, wasn't it? The whole well, yeah, decal type. But then, well, there's so we many. We talked other. about that in the interview with the PCT people. Remember? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we did because they have some amazing looking code which uh, uses yeah. decal type yes. and things like that. Very so. cool. Great, you guys. Yeah, but then we have all sorts of other library features like unique pointer, new algorithms, new member functions. There's so much stuff coming in beta one. So awesome. I really hope that people check it out. Absolutely, me too. Nice. Right on. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, I mean, I can only agree with the guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't do nothing. I just let these guys do it <laughs> for me. It's easy. Management overhead, huh? Yeah, there you go. Yes. No, no, yeah. No. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank Thanks you, very man. much, Charles, for coming over. Great to see you on camera. Yeah. Keep Thanks. it up. Take care.